Today on Chase and Tail TV, we're going to be fishing out of Montauk Point, Long Island with Captain Adrian Mason and Pablo. We're going to be targeting an albacore, striped bass, and maybe some bluefish. Hey Adrian, what's going on man? Good, good man. Excited to come out today man, it's gonna be a good trip. Good man, good to start loading this up. Tell us about your business, what you ever do here. All right, we're on my boat, big trouble. Um, time flies sport fishing. We keep the boat in the Montauk Yacht Club in the fall. Um, Montauk in the fall, September, October are the hot times of the year. It's the largest bait migration anywhere on the planet. We have everything coming from the northeast, right down funneling past the lighthouse. Schools of bay anchovies. Um, later in the season, we'll get mackerel and shad huge bluefish, huge striped bass, and today it should be tons of albies. Today we're using Hoagie SI epoxy jigs. This one is a 15 gram. Uh, it's an old, it's a copy of the Maria jig that was used years ago for by tuna fishermen. Uh, for whatever reason, the, the pink really excites the albacore and you reel these as fast as you can. If you think you're reeling fast, reel even faster and these guys will catch it. Uh, using a pen battle, 20 pound braid, uh, seven and a half foot rod, rated for eight to 17 pound test. It enables me to get this thing out to where the fish are uh, in almost any wind condition. I think they're out of casting range right now. Uh, bring us around. About four years ago, I came out to the lighthouse. I came a week before, August 14th, August 7th, I came out and I planned this whole thing for an engagement. It's like, I know, they're gonna work on me do the stuff. So on the 14th, I tell my wife, oh, we're gonna go to the lighthouse. She's like, oh, you know, I wanna go to Montauk. So I get to the lighthouse, I walk in there, and I had to text the lady to let her know I was here. So I send her a text. So I walk in there, and it's nice text I was wearing, I was wearing a red shirt. So I, I walk in there, and as I walk in, I was like, oh, hi, how are you? You know, I'm gonna take the tour, I go up to the lighthouse. Oh, no problem. So as I say that, she picks up a microphone, and she goes, okay, he's here right now. And my wife looks at me, she's like, what's going on? What do you like someone special. <laughs> so here she, she thinks I'm like this big shot now, you know, like they're clearing out the lighthouse. So we go upstairs, they cleared everybody out of the lighthouse. They made everybody leave the lighthouse. I go up the stairs and she's looking at me. She's like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> she has no clue. Wow. I go upstairs, I walk and I go, hey, come out and look out the window. She's looking out the thing. And as she's looking out the window, I give the guard up there, the lady guard my camera. And I sneak up behind her. And I say, I gotta talk to you about something. She's like, what's going on? And I, you know, I took out the ring and stuff. I actually got engaged in that lighthouse. Uh, it's awesome. Four years ago, yeah. Right now, we're basically a little bit of a tough start. We're looking, we're searching for them. We still got a little bit of residual swell, I guess, from a past tropical storm. So it makes it a little tougher to see them when they come up, crash the bait and everything like that. The tide did just change. So hopefully, once it starts moving, like Adrian was saying, these fish like moving water, hopefully they'll come up and show themselves. But we're just gonna keep looking until we find one. We're just working our way down the beach. Got the beautiful Montauk landscape behind us. And we're just gonna keep looking until we find them. Ah, uh, yep. My zoom is limited.
Hello, Bluey. What's up, man? Now blister and run. Yeah, it is a blue. Yellow eyes. So look at him right there. See him over there? Another one for the neighbors. Take off that rock there. Turn some slip right next to I didn't see it. But it hurt some slip. I could reach that. Oh, right in front of us. Those are them. They got the green backs. Yep. Oh my god. Real fast enough. There we go. I'm All in. Right. Nice. Nice job. Got him. One in. I love this rod for that too. A nice long run. Yeah. Here we go, Joey. First album the other day. This is the rod I had with you that day. I was bucktailing. This is such a great setup, man, for an all-around rod. Yeah. And I'm using this tough line, the supercast line. It's coated. It's like less friction between the guys. You know what you don't hear it? Like the power crawl, you know, you don't hear that? It's a good line, man. I really like it a lot. Cast far, smooth. I mean, it's kind of like having mono in the reel, but it's a coated super braid. And nothing. <laughs> I'm down to the back end. I might want to tighten that drag a tiny bit. <laughs> I did. Adrian, these fish now, this is basically every like late summer or early uh, fall, they uh, show up? Yeah, actually, um, right by the holiday weekend in September, the fish start showing up as the water temperature drops, the bait starts flowing through here. You can almost count on uh, the bass showing up with the bluefish first, late September, sorry, uh, late August, early September. Right. And then the algae's come in right behind them. And this year, the albies just came in about a week and a half ago. And today is the first day of fall. Today is the first day of fall. Uh, it's and I, <laughs> pretty humid, if you ask yeah, me. Yeah, it is definitely hot and humid. Not but fall like. Um, but yeah, so the albies come through chasing the, the bay anchovies as they migrate down. And that's why these jigs are working good, because they basically jigs. replicate the anchovies. Yep. 
Some days they like the real small bait, other days right. it's the larger, larger profile works. Uh, a lot of the fly guys <coughs> do well because they can actually match the hatch and cast the fly, it's only right. an inch and a half long. Yeah, we've been hooking up a lot. We've been yeah, we've seen quite a few up. of them. And the wind's laying down, so hopefully we can get the, the fly right definitely out. Definitely waiting that. Now, for someone that wants to do this, let's say, you know, they come and I know you're a charter guy, you do what, one to four, one to six? Uh, out here, I like to keep it a maximum of four guys. Four guys. Uh, it gets a little tight, especially okay. when the waves start kicking up. And they'll um, come out, you could do either spin or fly, you'll do the charter. Spin, fly. Um, I generally don't do the bait fishing too much, but mm -hmm. I will drift the rips with bucktails and lighter action rods, and we do well with the bass over there, too. That's good. Um, and in the summertime, I also do charters for families. I do a lot of groups, uh, fluke, okay. fluke fishing for the, with the kids. The kids love it. I love having them out. Uh, I have a lot of clients, repeat clients who bring their families out. If someone wants to contact, you have a web page? I do. My website's uh, Time Flies Sport Fishing. I actually have it on my shirt. Um, and there's all my contact information, email, uh, there's a contact form, and my phone number's on there. So I'm pretty, pretty easy to get a hold of these days. The reason why the fly fishing around are doing so well and catching a lot, and the reason why we're using these little jigs is this is what these little fish are eating. These are small baby anchovies. Some people call them rain bait. That's what's in the water now by the thousands. And they're just gorging themselves on these things. Come on. Come oh, look at them on a surf. Look at this. You're making some uh, progress on it now, it looks like. Yeah, almost there. You broke a spirit. Still haven't seen a visual yet. But this guy didn't run toward the boat, he ran away from the boat. Yeah. He said, I'm not going to of those guys. There, there, he, there is. he is. Oh, he's like he's yeah, snagged. snagged on the side. Yeah, right in the thing. Right underneath. So him. I got to be careful. Give it unloaded to me okay. because I don't want to. Oh. <laughs> there you go. There's your answer why he's fighting so much. You can see he was snagged. Snagged him by the fin. Kiss. All right, send them on his way. Nice, beautiful little albacore. Look at that, that design. Well, you can see, actually, as Adrian was telling you, all these fins go in to make it pure speed, and it's turned yeah. into a little bullet. And then check out these little fins on the back. You, you can see how they, they yeah. little rudders. See how they turn? Isn't that really cool? Watch this, they'll turn. See, it? see that rudder turn? Yep. And his tattoo is just beautiful. All right, you're out. Tattoo you. You gotta love enough. First cast, it just hits the water and bam! Oh, come on, Where'd Joey, go! Hey, AJ, put a fighting chair in your boat up here. It's called the <laughs> yeah. LeBond's chair. <laughs> Big swell. This is my bucktail rod. You get like 40 pound stripes on it. They don't pull trays like this thing does. Yeah, Another beautiful skippy, albi, whatever you want to call them. We'll spin up all that rain bait. Yeah, all those little bay anchovies are coming right out of them. I'm going to fish it right there like this. Put the rod in there. 